My ex-wife, Jennifer, is a horrible mom. Jennifer leaves her daughter home two or three times a week to go out to the bars with other men. I am so sick and tired of Ben lecturing me on my parenting skills. I do go out to bars. I love to go out and have a good time with my friends, and I think I'm a very good mother. I do everything I can for my kids. Our daughter, Bella, and Jennifer fight like rabid dogs. See, Mom just kicked me in the face. I did not kick you in the face. Yes, you did. You just I... threw something at my face. The cops have come to Jennifer's house about six times. Last year, I was arrested for domestic violence. Jennifer tells Bella atrocious things. Like, if she knew that she was going to be like that, then she would have aborted her. You remember that time I told me to die peacefully? How you wanted me to die? The issue is with our daughter. You are being abusive. No, you're not. Stop throwing stuff at me, please. My daughter, she is very verbally and physically abusive towards me. She has pulled my hair, hit me. Are you kidding me? Stop throwing stuff at me. No, you're lying, you big, fat, little piece of... Me and Jennifer were married for roughly 13 years. She had multiple affairs. Jennifer's definitely more interested in making men happy than in her children. A week ago is Bella's birthday, and they usually go to a birthday breakfast. Jennifer wanted her boyfriend to come with, but Bella said, hey, can he not come? She just said, no, he can do whatever he wants. Ben is very much an ass. He said I was nuts in front of my daughter. All that Jennifer does is play the victim. He looks at it as it's a competition between the two homes. My relationship with Bella is incredibly healthy. When Bella is with me, I don't see destructive behavior at all. If I don't see an improvement in Jennifer's behavior, I want full custody of the kids. Okay, how long have you been divorced? Three years? Two years. Two? Mm -hmm. So now, there are kids caught in the middle of this. Unfortunately, yes. You act like you're pondering that. Is this a revelation to you? You just learned this when you got no, here? No, no. What I'm saying is that I think Julie and I do a good job of trying to keep them out of it, but I think she just has really inappropriate ways of talking to her kids about everything about what's going on. You We've try always, to keep them out of it? We try to... Weren't you just on the phone telling your daughter that you were here to try to straighten her out and as soon as this was over, she was going to be spending more time with you? I didn't say... I didn't necessarily... I didn't say personally that it was all about her. I said okay, that this look, is not you, just... You, this you don't, just she, you don't want to play semantics with me. You're telling your daughter, hey, we're, we're going to get her straightened out. You're going to... Don't worry. We're going to spend more time with us as soon as we get home instead of with her. We're going to take the pressure off of you, all of this. You're telling me that was not the gist of your conversation. Well, that was the gist of the conversation, yes. Okay, then why did you just say no? Because I didn't want to make it sound like... What it was? I guess. I mean, really, be, be honest. Nobody's perfect here. Did you go out drinking with your friends the night before your field shoot? Um, I did. The night before you're going to do your field shoot to give me relevant information about the circumstance, you decide to dump your daughter and go out drinking. It happened the weekend before that, too, on her 13th birthday. You have a list of those criticisms. Let's just get them out. Now, according to Ben, mm -hmm. children are just not a priority to you, that you leave your daughter alone to go frequent bars, that you've told your daughter to kill herself, that you wish you had aborted her, that you slap punch, scratch your daughter, that there's often no food in the house for the daughter, that you bring men into the home and they make the daughter uncomfortable, that you're unable to financially care for the children. That's his profile of you as a mother. Yeah. Correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got a list for him, too, but we're getting to yours first. So what about these things? My children are my priority. When... Bella told me that she didn't want me to go out or anything like that. I stopped. I admit I'm going out a little more than I used to because I'm under a lot of stress and I feel like I've been getting attacked and my every move. Yes, like well, my probably, every move is like wrong. You probably feel attacked right because all your moves are wrong. That's why you're getting attacked. Yeah, don't because get too far up on your high horse, buddy, because I'm coming to you. 